Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a rainbow ladder bracelet. Now, in this example I made before, I'm using a magenta border, but um, in this video I'm using a rainbow border. Now, if you want to choose one color for the border, it's usually um, the color black. Okay, so the things you need is a hook, any type of loom, and I'm using rainbow, um, rainbow colored uh, rubber bands, and of course a C clip. So let's get started. Okay, to start our rainbow ladder, we'll need to uh, put the arrow away from us, and then we can start. So the first thing you'll have to do is take your first color, for me is red, and put it di put it diagonally to the left side. So the first pin and then diagonally to the left side. And then do it to the right side. And then take your next color, and that is orange, and put it on the side, and then put it on the other side. And it's the same color, so orange. Then I'm gonna take yellow, because it's my next color, and then put it on the side, then put it on the other side and then do that all the way to this pin the last um, pin And now you're going to go on the right side, I'm sorry, on the left side, and <clears throat> take it diagonally to the center. And then do the same thing on the right side. And this is what, sh you, what you should have. Now we're going to make horizontal lines, starting in the second row of pecs. So we're going to take yellow and put it right over here. And we chose yellow because there is a yellow right, in to right on top of uh, orange. Okay, anyways, so we're going to take our second color and that screen, put it over here. As you can see, it's on top. And then we're going to take blue, put it over here, and again, you can see it's on top. Um, now do it all the way up to the next blue. Okay, so that's where we're going to be stopping. Okay, after you do that, you're going to take your black ripper bands and put it from the starting all the way to the end in the middle row. So you're going to put it like this, vertically. Then do it all the way to the end. Push it down if you need to. And this is how it should look like. The next step is to make sure the arrows are pointing towards you and make a cat band at the end. And then you're going to start hooking um, the black rubber bands. Okay, so what you're going to do is start hooking the black rubber bands. 
So we're going to push the black band, uh, cap, the black cap band, back and grab this rubber band. So we're going to grab that one and put it over this peck, around this peck, sorry. <clears throat> and then um, go under and grab that one and grab that rubber band and put it around that peck. Then go under, grab the rubber band and put it around that peck and keep on doing it all the way to this peck. This is how it should look like. Okay, so now we're going to make horizontal bands again, and we're going to take the same color and put it over that color. Okay, so remember, the arrow should be pointing towards you. Now we're going to start hooking the colorful um, rubber bands. So, the first thing we'll do is start with the left side and then to the right side. So we're going to push that black rubber band back and then grab the top, pur the, the top purple rubber band, so it's this rubber band and put it over that pin and then go under purple and grab the blue rubber band and put it over that pin um you should be grabbing the color that is different than the rubber band that is above And you should be getting, um, like teardrops as the shape as a teardrop. And if you get a different shape than that, then, um, that means you're doing it wrong. But if you get like a teardrop shape, then that means you're doing it right. Now, once you get to the red one, you're going to grab that red one and pull it diagonally and put it around that pin and do the same thing on the other side. I'm sorry I couldn't show you the the hooking process on the right side but it's okay because you do the same thing what you do on the left side. Okay so once you're done it should look like this. Okay so now what you will do is take a black rubber band and take your hook and put it all the way under the red uh, and black rubber band. Okay. And then take your black rubber band, hook it on the hook, and bring it with you up. And make sure you don't grab any more, um, any red or black, um, any red or black rubber bands with you. Okay, and now once you bring it up, put it on the side, and then put that on the hook. And then you can start taking your bracelet off of the loom. Okay, so this is how it should look once you take it off of your loom. Now, since this is really little and it can't fit your wrist, then we have to make the extension. Okay, so this is what you're going to do to do the extension. You will need five to 
eight or nine um, black rubber bands. And then you're going to start from the, the first pin that is on the right side. And the arrows should be pointing away from you. So, I'm using eight. Now what you're going to do, <clears throat> sorry, is take the end, so that is the black, um, the black rubber band that's on the end, and put it on this pin. Okay, and now, um, what you're going to do is take this off and just put it on um, a spare hook or just put it on one of the pins. Okay, so now what you're going to do is <clears throat> Turn it around so you can start hooking. And take your hook and go under and get th that black rubber band. Oops. And put it right over there. You're going to take your hook and just adjust it um, to that pin. And then take your um, C-clip and just stick it in there. So now you can take it off of the loom. And this is what you will get. Now what you're going to do is place two fingers and take the hook out. Then what you're going to do is take the C-clip and put it on. Oops. Put it on. And there you get it. So this is your result. Um, when I was putting my bracelet around my hand, the C-clip came, uh, slipped off of the re black rubber band and all the rubber bands flew out. Anyways, if you're going to use a black border, this is your result. To get a black border in the first step, I was doing the perimeter using rainbow rubber bands. But instead of using a, um, instead of using rainbow rubber, rainbow rubber bands, you can use black rubber bands, and this will be your results. Thank you for watching. Feel free to request a design down in the comments, and I'll see if I can make a tutorial on it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and please hit the subscribe button. Bye. Love the loom.